Okay, um, one of our members asked me to do a video on a scenery picture, so that's what we're going to work on today. Um, I'm going to go to Touch Up at Pig Monkey, and I'm going to go to Computer, and I'm going to pick a scene for us to color. don't think this one's been done yet. It might have been. Let's do one with some trees, though. I really want some with some good trees. Okay, this one may be it. Alright. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at on this, um, like I said, um, you want to make a habit of making everything black and white. So we're going to go over here to your wand, which is effects. Even though it already looks black and white, you never know if there's some tint to it. So we're just going to go ahead and push black and white and make it black and white. And then I'm going to go up here to your basic edits. And I'm going to go to exposure. And I'm going to auto adjust it just, just in case. I might adjust the brightness a little bit. Just depend. It's on, all depending upon your taste. Okay. So um, let's go over to your lipstick tool. And there, there's several ways to do this. And I'll touch on a couple of these. Um, we've got several different trees, and as you can see, there's some dark areas in here. Those are generally going to be a darker green, depending on if it's a fall or not. You've got these light ones here, and then you've got your middle tones. Your middle tones are, are either going to be a medium green, and your, your light tones are going to be either a light green, or if it's in the fall, it could be yellows or reds or even oranges. So um, we're going to actually do this one kind of a fall color because I want to I want to really touch on mixing your colors well. And um, I'm going to show you one way to do it, and this is something that I've I've really gotten to where I enjoy doing um, is going to the lip tint tool, going here, and we're going to make this a green. I want to take the brush hardness down, and um, and then I can just kind of start coloring. I'm going to start with these back trees. And I know it looks really bright. <laughs> I don't pay too much attention to that. And I got over some. Ah. Go over here to your eraser. All right, and that's mostly our dark tones there. Got a few more in here. And then what I would do with the lip tint tool is I'm going to change the tone make it a little darker and I'm actually going to change the intensity down until I get it to about where I like it and I kind of like it there so I'm going to push apply and then I'm going to go back to the lip tint tool and I'm actually going to put some yellows in here and some oranges so I'm going to go over to the yellow and take the hardness down again And I'm going to start touching some of these lighter areas with some yellows. And I'm not too worried about them being perfect because I'm going to mix some oranges in here too. Maybe even some reds. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take the intensity down some and the tone. Kind of like this. Okay, then I'm going to go back up 
Now I'm going to take an orange, put my hardness down, and I'm going to start touching I'm going to take that intensity down so that they kind of blend. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the reds. Take that hardness down. push a cloth. Okay, and now I'm going to go for a mid-level green. <clears throat> I'm going to take the hardness down and I'm going to start coming in here. And I probably should have toned that red down just a tad, but it'll be okay. I'm basically just showing you how to do this. I'm going to take that green down a little bit, and then I'm going to take the intensity down some. Go back up to the lint tool. I'm going to pick a different type of green. Take the, not the intensity, the hardness down. And I'm going to get in some of these areas that haven't been gotten. And I really probably should go scroll this up in here some so that we can see this.
that actually looks pretty good. I probably should put some more reds in here, and I may just go back and do that, simply for the fact that you're not just going to have these trees here. They're going to be kind of blended in, so I'm going to go back and put a little more red, maybe right here. intensity down. That gives it kind of an orangish look. I like that. And then I'm going to add a little more yellow. I like the yellows. I think they're very pretty. a whole lot of reflection here so what I'm going to do next um, I'm actually going to go down to highlights and I'm going to pick kind of the muted brown it's already on brown when we start I'm going to take my brush down and I'm just going to kind of go in here I may need to do it more this color and get these rocky looking areas that are probably the cliff cliff little cliff edge just so that they're kind of blended you're not going to be able to see a whole lot of them and you're going to have some browns in the trees too so don't limit yourself go ahead and add a few in there you just don't want a lot of gray and whited areas. You know, browns are found in nature everywhere. So are reds and yellows and greens. So when you're doing a fall picture like this, you just, you really want a good blend of all those colors to help just bring it out. Okay. Let's go up next, and what I like to do next is I'm going to go up and do the sky. And the reasoning behind this is is my my water is going to reflect mostly my sky in this photo. It's going to reflect this tree right here, and then it's going to reflect a lot of the sky in this area, and then right along the edge, it's going to reflect just the hair of these trees, and because it looks like it's a very bright day, it's going to show these colors more clearly than it actually shows anything else because it's such a bright day. Now, if it was a dark and almost night, the, the shadows would be there, but the colors would not be as brilliant. They would be very dark shades. So, um, get ready to color the sky. We're going to go in and just Colored. I'll take my brush size down some. And in these trees, I'm not too concerned. I'm just going to kind of touch in between them. I'm not trying to color over the landscape. I still got to color this. But it is going to show through some. So we want to just kind of lightly glide those in there. And mix this in some, because you can see where you can see little areas. But you should be able to see the sky. Now, 
I'm going to be real picky about that. All right. And I kind of want a brighter blue, about like that, maybe. That's real pretty. We're going to do that. So we're going to push apply. Okay. And then we're going to go in and we're going to do this tree. Or we could go in and do this, but we're going to go in and do the tree first. And I want this tree, I want it kind of, hmm, I'm trying to decide. I have a hard time deciding on these because we are doing a fall coloring. We could do some oranges and greens and, you know, some different colors like that. But I think maybe a pretty orange. Take the hardness down. Okay, and I really like these orange tones. I'm actually going to make it a little brighter. I like that. I'm going to push apply, go to the lint tint tool. I'm actually going to add just a touch of yellow through here, turn the hardness down. I'm going to make these more of a golden tone. I don't like that. Like that. I really like that. All right, and we're going to go down and pitch apply. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to do my water. So I'm going to go down back down to highlights and pick a good color. I can always adjust it. I'm going to put my brush side, brush size down, and I'm going to just start coloring this in. And your water's generally just a tad darker because it's also reflecting that, that ground underneath. So you want it just a tad darker. And that's actually a really pretty color. So um, I'm going to go ahead and push apply. And then I'm going to start working on this shadow here. The shadow is this tree. So I'm going to go back up to my um, lip tint tool. And I'm going to go back into my oranges take my hardness down and I'm just going to start
Now I'm going to take the intensity down just for the simple fact I want it to kind of blend a little bit better. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to go down here some. Go down to the highlight. I need to throw some yellows in here. Way too deep. And then I'm going to touch over here. Go back to highlight. Touch this yellow. I'm going to go up and touch the red. down just a tad. And I'm going to go to a green. And this is probably going to be somewhat green through here. We don't really know what's behind all of that, so we're going to make it a green and kind of tone it down. So. And then, lastly, what I would do is I'm going to go up and create an Orton effect. And it just really, I want it a little brighter than that. Let's see. I don't like the bling down so much. I like it about, about there. And I'm going to fade it just a hair. And then, I'm going to go back here to my lipstick tool. It's actually called the touch up tool. And I'm going to go and go to the mascara tool. I'm going to turn my brush size up some. And I'm just really going to just touch the trees, the water. Going to give it some definition. And I probably should have made that a little bit lighter, but it'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. So, and that would be how to color a scenery picture. Not one of my best, not one of my worst, but actually it shows the textures and the tones and how to mix things really well, which usually takes a little bit to get perfected, and I'm not really great at them yet, but that, you get the idea of how this works. So, thank you for watching.